Welcome to another edition of the Daily Vlog. My name is Dr. David Dizer. Thank you so much for tuning in. On this show, we cover all things holistic health and wellness related. If you're interested in holistic well-being, please subscribe for more videos like this one. Today on the show, we're talking about the management of hunger hormones. When you're beginning a holistic weight loss program like the Daily Lean or any program really, you need to be able to properly manage your hunger. When you reduce caloric intake, your hunger can go up. You can get hungry. On a holistic weight loss program, you need to be considering things like intermittent fasting or reduced caloric intake or a specific food combining plan that may not leave you as satiated as you might have been before with, say, your high carb intake or whatever you're doing. So you need to be able to manage your hunger. There is a significant possibility that you're going to be hungry and that can be very annoying and it can cause you to go off plan pretty easily. So we need to find ways to manage hunger and this video highlights one way. So let's talk simply uh, quickly about hunger hormones. Uh, ghrelin and leptin are the most common, uh, most well known. Ghrelin, when ghrelin goes up, uh, we feel hunger and um, we need to be finding ways to suppress ghrelin. One simple way is through resistance training. So when it comes to weight loss, the most important thing to do is cut calories. Uh, most people try to outwork their caloric intake, so they try to out-exercise their caloric intake. It, it really doesn't work. Um, but one thing that exercise does, specifically weightlifting or resistance training in general, it can suppress appetite. Um, a lot of people will note that they become more hungry after exercise, but in the moment when you're exercising and for a period of time after, hunger hormones, hunger hormone ghrelin is suppressed. And this is essential because it can give you time. Like on our programs, for example, when we're feeling hunger, we'll make sure that people are consuming fluids and that they're checking in with themselves to see if it's actually time to eat and see if it fades after a, a little while. One thing that really can be helpful is actually doing some resistance training at that time, whether it be squats or lunges or some band work or some dumbbell work. That can be actually really, really beneficial for suppressing ghrelin. One thing that... Uh, resistance training actually does as well is resistance training can increase peptide YY. Peptide YY is a peptide, a protein that's released in the small intestine that tells the body, tells the brain uh, to not consume calories. Uh, so peptide YY is an appetite suppressant and resistance training actually boosts peptide YY. So another mechanism for actually hitting the weights, for actually pushing the body, challenging the body when you're experiencing hunger. If you can get ahead of it, if you can recognize when the hunger signals are happening for you, see on the first few days of a, of a, of a program where you're you know, cutting your calories or you're changing the way you eat, you notice that say um, after dinner every night you're experiencing hunger, that'd be a good time to do a 10, 15 minute program where you are, you know, doing a little bit of weights, doing a little bit of band work, doing some squats or some dips or something in the living room while you're watching TV to see if you can suppress your hunger. Give it a try. For me, it works, um, but uh, I'd, love, I'd love to hear if it works for you as well. A lot of my patients report that it's effective, even if it can just prolong the actual desire to consume food, even to the next day if you're in the middle of an intermittent fast or uh, to the actual proper timing of the meal you're looking to consume, that could be really helpful. Like let's say you experience a, a hunger uh, signal mid-afternoon and uh, you're not meant to be consuming food until say 6 or 7 p.m., that would be a good time to get some, to get a few sets of like 10, 20 reps in of just something to see if you can suppress your hunger moving forward. Of course, we recommend consuming some fluids doing a little meditation to reflect on, for reflect on that, where this hunger is coming from. Um, we know that sometimes these signals are, are, are just not appropriate. If we're inflamed, the receptors for hunger hormone signals uh, are, are not appropriately receiving these signals. So there could be other reasons for, for f noticing this signal. We know if you consumed a large uh, sugar meal uh, or, or some large sugar intake and then uh, you get a, a 
uh, a rapid increase in blood glucose and then a, de a subsequent uh, follow-up decrease that can cause some hunger signaling so these can be inappropriate signals so it's important to check in try to postpone fluids but of course resistance training hope you found this video helpful if you're looking to uh, you know apply a holistic weight loss approach to your life subscribe to our channel we'll be doing more videos like this one thanks for watching have a great day